Some really heartbreaking news today. The former My Chemical Romance drummer Bob Breyer has passed away at the age of 44 after last being seen alive in early November. It had been reported in the past that Bob had had some trouble with mental health and suicidal ideations, and it's really unfortunate to see a musician that I definitely respected on a musical level somebody that brought an album into my life that made me see and hear drums in a different way and to know that he's no longer with us is devastating my chemical romance parted ways with bob briar after danger days i believe and of course that was a long time ago 2009 the making of that record into 2010 when it released apparently the vibes with bob briar were not great in the studio but uh they ended up parting ways things came back around full circle eventually he seemed bitter for a while but after coming out the other side of some struggles with mental health it seemed like he had been on an upwards trajectory which makes this all the more sad tmz of course broke the news bob briar dead at 44 the longest tenured my chemical romance drummer he played with them for just under a decade uh, bob briar the drummer from wow they didn't even spell check this article. The Dumber from My Chemical Romance from 2004 to 2014. Really, TMZ? We're getting super sloppy out here. That just feels extra. Uh, extra offensive right now. I don't even think this 2014 date is accurate because if I'm not mistaken, Michael Petticone, who was later fired also in 2011 from My Chemical Romance, would have been in the band as of 2011. So I don't think he was there until 2014. Bob Breyer did retire from music in 2014, announcing that at the time he was becoming a real estate agent. And now, they're reporting that no foul play is suspected, although he was found alone in his home uh, with a badly decomposed body. Also, animal control took away his pets. It's just a horrific nightmare scenario, I'm sure. So TMZ is saying that before Danger Days came out, Briar left the group, and I do believe he was credited with drums on a decent amount of Danger Days, but I'm not really too sure. The SNL performance was definitely iconic. You can see Bob hammering away in the background there. Truly one of my favorites of that era, really, of bands that got to go on Saturday Night Live. But uh, Bob leaving My Chemical Romance, he really was was a part of the band during their most integral years. And even though he didn't drum on Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, he did replace Matt Pelliser. Now just shy of the album's 20th anniversary coming up in 2026, we have this devastating loss of Bob Breyer, somebody who was a huge contributor to that record. Tracks like Sleep, Disenchanted, Welcome to the Black Parade that just wouldn't have quite hit the same without the incredible drumming. Bob Breyer was only 44 years old, and to pass like that is truly horrific. I can only imagine my heart is going out right now to the band members, the remaining ones, the ones that knew him well, others in the industry, fellow musicians, friends, his family. I can only imagine uh, what is going through your heads and your hearts right now. That's some really, really heavy and tragic stuff. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to put some thoughts out into the world and say that for what it's worth for my two cents, Bob Breyer left something of an impression on me as a teenager and stuff like that really never does leave you.